Hello, my fellow art nerds, and welcome to this Not Quite Speed Paint. My name is Jesse, one of Wing Canvas's cartoony and anime instructors, and today I'll be drawing some of the pets of our Wing Canvas team as Animal Crossing villagers. My horrible crippling obsession with the game has been going strong since the game's release on March 20th, with a daily play streak and 470 plus hours clocked into the game. Eventually, I roped some of my other co-workers into this purgatory, filled to the brim with cute outfits and talking animals, so I figured doing an Animal Crossing themed Not Quite Speed Paint was only appropriate. Without any further ado, let's get arty. The first pet I'll be illustrating is none other than the studio's lady boss, Pongo. Pongo is a sweet, sassy little pup, so taking that into account when coming up with her villager design and character personality was crucial. Deciding between either Pongo or Sadie, our other studio dog, was a tricky choice, but in the end I figured I'd have a few more ideas when it came to drawing Pongo, uh, like giving her the career jacket that I gave to Whitney in-game. I highly recommend giving it to Whitney if you have her, by the way. She absolutely kills that look. While I am a clean sketch artist, where I kind of like to clean up my sketches for no particular reason, that's something that you don't need to do and shouldn't really focus on. Uh, as long as your sketch is clear enough for you to create a finished piece from, that's good enough most of the time. Uh, because Animal Crossing's cutesy look is such a simple style anyway, it wasn't too big of a loss uh, to clean up the sketch a little more when drawing. The main issue came across when figuring out how to draw Pongo's head to match the dog design in Animal Crossing. But while Pongo's head is more of like a, a sideways lima bean, the dogs in Animal Crossing are more of a vertical lima bean, if, if that makes any sense. Uh, in the end, I decided that I didn't want to spend too long getting frustrated over something that's not really that big of a deal, so I settled on giving her some extra fur bits on her ears and face, making her tail extra fluffy. Kind of like um, the anteaters in Animal Crossing, even though like, you know, the dogs usually just have like a little line, but that's okay. Um, Pongo's tail is very fluffy. I didn't want to take away her fluff from her. The only dog villager that I have on my island is Lucky, because uh, I'm all for that like creepy-ish villager aesthetic. Like, don't let this style fool you. Uh, I can do some creepy stuff too. Like, it sounds like I'm trying to convince you, but I promise. I promise I can. <laughs> um, like, I have Whitney, who I got by accident. Um, once when I, I put up like my first plot of land to just sell to anybody and I was like all right I'll just kind of leave this here and then overnight you know the new villager comes in I'm like oh who's Whitney and I research her and I was like could have ended up a lot worse <laughs> than how it did um but you know yeah like I have Whitney who I guess is like a dog since she's like a wolf but like honestly like none of the other villager dogs interest me like the normal ones um, like, like, okay, like, I know that there's, like, the cute dog NPCs, like, Isabel and Harriet, but, like, you don't really interact with them that much, right? Um, I'm talking more about, like, the villagers that, like, actually live on the island, you know? Like, I don't, I don't care what any of you think. Like, I know that Goldie and, like, Cookie are, like, really popular, and, like, okay, yeah, they're, they're kind of cute, but, like, I don't, I don't think that they're that cute, you know what I mean? Like, they're not, like, barreled levels of, like, no thank you, but they're not, like, Marina or Raymond levels of desirable, you know? Um, none of you can fight me on Raymond, by the way. I spent two days trying to get him, okay? And I did, so you can't, can't hate me for that. Um, with Pongo's sassy personality, I figured that giving her the sisterly personality trait was only right. And having her in the studio family for so long, giving her the catchphrase artsy also only felt like the right thing to do. And with that, we kind of have Pongo finished as our first uh, pet Animal Crossing villager. The second pet that I illustrated was Lovely Helvetica, or Helvi for short. Helvi is a sweet little angel who's super well behaved and chill, so again, taking that into account for her design was necessary. The best thing about the Animal Crossing style, I think anyway, is how simple it is to learn and how simple it is to draw. Uh, all the animals and people are like the same, just with varying attributes. Or they're all like reskins of each other, like if you think about it. Like if you take like Raymond and Bob, right? They're both cats, right? Um, like if you can draw the body of the Animal Crossing cat, you can probably draw all of the Animal Crossing cats without issue. Because really it's all like, some of them are different colors, some of them have hair or whatever, right? It's really not that big of like a difference um, if you want to stay in like very true to the Animal Crossing style um, and then for like the people you have varying eyes and clothes and hair and you know whatever um, but again they all have like the same oval head and circular hands right like imagine just having like like Lego hands right like you know like the, the letter C but instead they're like spheres now um, speaking of the circular hands uh, that's a really good point um, <laughs> the bane of a, a ton of artists is to draw hands um, See, like, eliminating the fingers when drawing a hand is, like, an 
excellent solution. Um, the feet are the same deal too, like if you're wondering, no no toes in sight they have to worry about. Um, like you know how like a lot of artists, they'll take like the hands, right? And they'll go like, oh man, I don't feel like drawing hands today, so they'll put them behind the back or they'll <laughs> put them in pockets, you know? Uh, both work. Um, but yeah, I think the only issue I run into when I draw a certain Animal Crossing character um, is my need for the symmetry in certain characters. Uh, for instance, I use the symmetry tool for Helvi um, when drawing her face because of her super, super symmetrical design. Um, so just drawing one side after the other uh, wasn't going to cut it for me uh, because my perfectionism knows no bounds. Like if this eye is off by the slightest bit, I'm like, eh, no, that's not, that's not happening. <laughs> so I'm going to have to fix that for myself. I think out of all of the villager personalities, uh, Smug and Normal and Sisterly are like my three favorites. Uh, I have two Normals on my island. I have Vesta and Coco, um, and then two Smugs. I have Zell and Raymond. Um, I only have one Sisterly who is Canberra, but I, I do think that her personality resonates the most with me. Um, so like, you know, I, I have to love it. Um, and, and speaking of Canberra, I know that she's like considered like an ugly villager or whatever. Um, because, you know, she was one of my immediates, right? Like, you know, he start with, like, a jock and a, and a sisterly or an uchi villager, um, starting off. Um, and those were my two starters. That was Canberra and Igly. Um, and, you know, like, I, I initially didn't like her that much. Um, but, you know, eventually she, she grew on me. Like, I kind of, I start to get to know her more and, like, you know, she turned out to be pretty cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, my other two, like, ugly villagers, you know, like, Igly and Patty, they're not very not very popular or whatever um because like i didn't i didn't really like them that much either initially um but again like they also kind of grew on me as time went on um patty is slowly starting to irritate me though so <laughs> i might i might switch her out for someone eventually um but the moral of the story is that your your ugly villagers are probably nice you just have to get to know them <laughs> like with a lot of people um then again i did kind of use the uh, Frank and Ribot as stand-ins to get Raymond, but uh, that, that's another story for another video. Maybe I'll maybe I'll talk about that one day. Um, if I ever do end up drawing Raymond for this channel, I'll probably tell tell that story. Um, with Healthy's sweet personality, I decided to give her a sweet personality type as well. So normal only seemed fitting in this case. Uh, her catchphrase "Key Paw" is in reference to keypad, since she's a cat and her name is a font type. And I am the most creative individual ever. The final pet I'll be illustrating is the wonderful Pichu. As a bird owner myself, I know the screechy sassiness that comes with birds, so of course I'll take that into account while coming up with his design. Bird villagers are, are funky because a lot of them are pretty boring, I think, but I think my three favorites are Jacques, Anchovy, and Jitters. <laughs> um, uh, definitely not popular. <laughs> uh, Jacques I recently started to like because I realized he looked a lot like one of my own characters like i have to resonate with that you know what i mean um and anchovy i like for no real reason other than like how dumb he looks and also his name like why anchovy that's that's a fish isn't it it's like what you put on pizza um but yeah like i like i don't know why i like him like i think i i like him for no real reason other than like how dumb he looks like like the eyebrows man they look like sensor bars um like if he was a human character he looks like his name would be like little timmy um and like i can't hate that right like he looks like the little kid that you see on the street and he tells you how many like youtube followers he has or something i don't know <laughs> even though he like hasn't used youtube for more than like a year um and like you know it, jitters i love for no real reason other than like he he looks like he lives off of five hour energies and espresso shots um and I, I completely vibe with that. Like, I feel that entirely. Like, I am still in college. I am still studying video game art and <laughs> the amount of, like, almost sleepless nights I have gotten is countless. Um, and, you know, like, the fact that his, that Nintendo gave him a name like, like, Jitters means that all of his, like, sleepless caffeinated glory was 100% intentional. And that's, like, peak character design. Like, I can't, I can't fault that. Um... And if you haven't noticed yet, I absolutely love to do line art, um, contrary to popular artist consensus. A lot of people ask me, like, why I like to do line art, and I think it's just how, like, mindless and, like, calming it is to me. Um, I've stopped really needing to focus while I do line art, uh, and more so it's just kind of me, like, letting the back of my brain take over my senses, you know? Like, for more of my, uh, my more detailed work, um, I spend a lot of time on the line work, but I don't really mind too much because it's, like, 
you can kind of see me having a little more fun with the line work while drawing Pichu, um, especially with more details on his flight jacket. My favorite type of line art to do is generally like super bold and thick. Um, I used to do all my line art super super thick with like little to no line variation, but as I as I got older, I started to love doing you know super bold line art and more and more. Uh, you can do whatever kind of line work you want. Like I'm not gonna tell you what not to do. Um, but for me personally, I I really love the kind of super cartoony, super bold and strong personality and like the the life you can give something with like the really thick, really very bold line work. Um, and finishing it off with Pichu's personality type and catchphrase, I was told that Pichu would probably be a cranky type, uh, having a catchphrase that resembles the screechy glory that only comes with parakeets and cockatiels. And with that, that's all the pet illustrations. I had a lot of fun illustrating these, um, and I hope you like them too. Um, if you did, make sure to leave a like on this video and leave some suggestions for what we can draw next. Uh, if you want to see more content from us, make sure to hit subscribe so you never have to miss an upload. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, until next time, bye-bye!